What's going on guys, so we're going to see if the legend of Jeremy Roenick in NHL 94 carries over to NHL 20. Obviously they have the new classic NHL cards out based off of NHL 94 where Jeremy Roenick was an absolute stud. If you guys don't know, he was basically like the Michael Vick of Madden 04 where it was super fast, pretty much unstoppable, basically a cheat code. And I mean back then he was actually so sick, I think he had 107 points in back to back years. So it's pretty crazy just how good he was in that game. And real quick guys, I want to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. You can start listening today with a 30 day Audible trial and your first audiobook plus two Audible originals are free. All you have to do is visit audible.com slash tactics or text tactics to 500-500. I'd recommend Offside by Sean Avery for your first free audiobook. After listening to him on Spitting Chicklets as well as watching the video they did with him, I was just so interested in the guy. Like he seemed like such a crazy character. So I really wanted to see more about him as well as hear some more about the behind the scenes stories from the NHL, especially with his time with the Red Wings. And this book, you know, definitely delivered on that. So I highly recommend checking it out if you're also into behind the scenes NHL stories like me. And again, if you visit audible.com slash tactics or text tactics to 500-500, you can get your first audiobook completely free. And today we're going to try and recreate some of his NHL 94 magic in Hockey Ultimate Team, seeing if his new classic NHL card can carry a team of mostly bronze players. As you guys can see here, first line we have Dabrinkit, Ronick, and Abramov. So I decided to throw in some slightly better guys as the team he had back in 94 actually wasn't too bad. He had Chris Chelios on D, he had Steve Lammer who put up 70 points, Steve Smith another defenseman at 57. The next three forwards were actually pretty good. I mean they had Michelle Legoulet at 44 and 63. So, so I decided to throw in a few silver and gold cards just to mix it up. For instance, Dabrinkat here is basically replacing Larmer on the first line. Abramov is one of those decent forwards. Second line here you can see we have a couple silvers and a bronze. Bottom six, all bronze card. Duncan Keith here on our top pair, he is representing Chris Chelios, who is still pretty solid, even though he wasn't on Jerry Ronick's level in NHL 94. Ryan Merkley here is essentially representing Steve Smith. And I forgot to mention too, Abrama, basically, he'll be Michel Goulet for us. And then the other two silver cards are Brent Sutter and Christian Ruto. And then on D, after that, we just have four bronze cards. So it's going to be pretty tough. Now, Chicago did have Ed Belfour in net. So because of that, our starting goaltender here is Corey Crawford. So we do get a gold card, even though he's not too great. Bronze, of course, back in a mop. And we actually have a decent amount of synergies on this team, so maybe that'll help us out a bit, because obviously Jeremy Roenick's good, but I'm not sure he's going to be that good to carry this team. We're trying to win a game here in competitive seasons. Wrecking Crew, though, was activated, so whole team there, plus three to acceleration, body check, strength, and discipline. We also get Breakup Master there on those four guys. Uh, sustained Pressure, the entire game gets plus three to speed, passing, puck control, and durability, so they'll be a bit quicker, but still slower than your average team. As well, Ronick has both player synergies activated, so Arm Day and Workhorse, just to make him even better. Now, I was actually looking at his stats with the synergies activated. I think he's going to have 96 speed and excel, and I really wish with the synergies activated he'd have 99, because the big thing for him in NHL 94 was just how fast he was. Now, he actually does have 99 body checking, so that was kind of funny. Also, guys, I want to show you this dude here, Daniel Fishbuck. He's playing third line left wing for us. Might have the worst slap shot in the game. 53 accuracy and 50 power. So, He's got all three synergies activated, which is nice. Just kind of want to show you guys what the stats look like for some of these bronze players. It's going to be rough. So like I was saying, the challenge here is to win a game of competitive seasons with this team. On top of that, because we're using the NHL 94 Jamie Roenick, it seems only fitting. We have to use NHL 94 controls, which I think will make it a bit tougher. You just don't have as many options to you. Basically, you can pass, you can shoot, and I think, yeah, you can hit there, you can move player. That's not a lot. So... This is going to be really tough. Hopefully we don't get matched with like, you know, a great player or anything. As well guys, on the line this episode, if we lose, we have to quick sell this Jumbo Premium Players Pack. Now, if we win, we can keep everything inside. I don't know how likely that's going to be. So, we'll search for a game here and hope for the best. Here guys, you can see our team stats. 74 offense, 68 defense, and 70 goaltending with 70 overall there. Honestly, I think that might be worse than like the starter team you get, but... Gotta have faith in JR. So we just got into a game, guys, and I saw a glimpse of the other guy's ratings. I think he had, like, all mid-80s. Also, too, as you can see, we are rocking the Chicago Blackhawks. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know, like, what to press to... Oh, we're off the bat. <laughs> you can't do anything. Like, I'm trying to, like, deke. You can't do anything with the 94 controls. Um, I mean, cross creases still work, which is my go-to. And what I was trying to say earlier, guys, we're rocking the Blackhawks jerseys here, obviously, for Jay Roenick in NHL 94 as well. Have the American flag logo, because... He's American. I was actually trying to get the Blackhawks logo or even the Portland Winterhawks logo, but there were none on the market uh, with a buy now. This, I don't know how we haven't gotten scored on yet. This is so confusing. Like, I can't basket to kind of center my guy on D. I don't know. Like, this is going to be so tough. Come, like, really, we just have the option to cross crease and to slap shot. Oh, wait, you can hopefully, like, he'll kind of auto center himself. Otherwise, you just not, or I should say, face like himself. Ooh. To break it's not bad. You gotta try to like get the dudes that are decent on the ice as much as possible, get them the puck. 
Lavoie, take the slap shot from there. I mean, okay, I think basically we're just clicking A and B the whole time. A to switch, A to pass, and then B to shoot, B to check. I mean, the one good thing, I guess, about Angel 94 controls is it really simplifies the game, so you can't make any dumb mistakes. Ooh, big save, almost had the rebound. Also, you guys are noticing with actual 94 controls, I don't know how to change my lines because it's B um, in the regular game, but I'm pressing B and I'm not getting a line change option, so I'm going to have to figure that out unless you just literally can't do it, which would kind of suck. Because the whole point, I wanted to like keep throwing Ronick out there. I'll just make it even tougher, I guess. Right stick does not do anything, so it is, you can't even go like forehand, backhand on a breakaway. Almost actually might have gotten one. Big hit. Clap this. We gotta get, I guess, like a tip too. If we take a shot from the point, could get lucky. Oh, he's got Headman on D. Like he's actually got a decent team, but we're like hanging in here. Five minutes left on the first, so it's a good sign. Ooh, little move, cross crease, nice D. And look at that, we're getting now shot eight to one, just barely hanging in. Like I was saying, Crawford's been playing huge. Oh, we can somehow get the goal here. McKenzie, I think he's a bronze guy as well. Brent Burns, come on, big shot, <sighs> just missed. Nice hit from Merkley. Keith. Ooh, and we got tripped there at the end, so we're going on the power play. This guy's also got Chris Pronger. I assume it's like a lone card, but still. Ronick, our best chance, and Pronger lays him out. Kind of cool little alumni on alumni uh, action there. And look at this, guys. Even though we're getting outshot by a lot, time to attack's virtually the same. Passing percentage is actually 85, which is kind of surprising. We literally just hit A, hope for the best. Have not won a face-off yet, though, so... I think it's kind of getting used to just pressing A. There we go, guys. Opening face-off. Maybe we'll win our first one here. Just got time it, I think, and press A. There you go. Yeah, there's no, like, stick action or anything. Took a period to figure out, but I think we might have it now. And this is our power play unit one, so pretty much our five best players. This is, like, our best chance to score, especially he's down a guy. There should be somebody open. Ooh. Let's go. To brink it. Come on. Oh, I thought Ronick was coming. Definitely, we can still play our game. We just gotta keep it simple. Ronix wide open. Let's go, Jeremy Ronick gets one. Thank you very much. You know what I should have done? Oh, it's too late now because we're in the game, but I should have gotten the NHL 94 um, goal celebration and put it on Jeremy Ronick there. That'd have been sick. And we're actually still in the power play, guys. I didn't realize they had a delayed penalty, so that is awesome. This is not, though, whoever that is. No helmet's pretty good, I'm sure. Ooh, big D. Oh, that went right through our guy. So yeah, no luck there on the second power play. Oh my god, just absolutely embarrassed us. Get the puck back. Ooh, I think we got a huge block there. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, another block. Because like we can't poke check, so I'm literally just kind of standing in the passing lane hoping for the best. Can we get JR another one? To brink it. Oh, I think uh, roughing, I don't know, boarding. We're on power play again. Come on, Jerry Ronick's got 99 hitting. Yeah, let's go. Get the puck back. Ooh. Right by him. He's also got like, I think, 96 speed with the synergies. Set up the assist. Oh, he actually almost just gets one. Come on, let's see if we can do it again. Ronick's still out there. I love seeing that. Keith, I don't even think I pressed shot. I think he just decided I'm shooting the puck. Here we go. Give it to the man of the hour, Jeremy Ronick. Skates right by him. Look at the cuts he's doing. I can't deke, so I'm just kind of weaving in and out, but it's kind of working. Feed him. Oh, Kenzie almost had a chance. Oh, I missed that hit. DeLeo all over him. What D from Keith. I thought that was a goal. And one of the bronze guys here to DeLeo. He's one of our better guys. Wide open. Oh, wow. Nice D laying out. I don't even think we can do that. Yeah, we can't do that. Come on, McKenzie. Feed him. Cut to the left. Are you kidding me? Backhand, forehand. That's a goal every time. Okay, guys. So I just realized you can poke check. I don't know why I thought you couldn't. I must have, like, not hit RB last time I tried. Or I don't know what I did. But I thought you couldn't. We, ha we have the poke check. So... Uh, that's going to make it a bit easier on D. Although, I mean, so far we're doing okay without it. Maybe I should just not even bother. 18, please stay on side. Oh my goodness. Okay, Pronger just killed a man on the ice. Feed him. Oh, good uh, interception from Kucherov. Nice hit of our own. Poke check, almost got it there. So see, the poke check, it's a bit dangerous. Now we might get a penalty. And we pretty much can't afford to go on the penalty kill because he'll definitely score. Nice block there. Ronick with the assist to the brinket. Come on. Oh, he's quick. He's quick. And he's got absolutely nobody with him. Except for Ronick. Oh, almost went back door. Come on, Merkley. Oh, you gotta pick that up. Please. Merkley's actually kind of fast. What a save. 
And look at this, guys. Play the period. Jerry Roenick. The lone goal so far. Keith, little pass. And he just puts it in the back of the net. It's a close game, though. Up by one. Uh, this next period is going to be crucial. <sighs> wow. I don't know if we got lucky or if we saved that one. I'm just glad. Uh, don't have to worry about it. Oh, no. Nice save again from Crawford. Honestly, he's staying on his head this game. No, no. Bad, uh, bad play. Are you kidding me? He just walks out and snipes it. Pasternak. All right, we got a game, boys. 1-1. One, one. See if the second line can get it done. They do have a couple silver players, but uh, going against all golds, still going to be tough. There we go. Nice interception. Here they come. Here they come. Wide open on the cross. Are you kidding me? you got to bury that. I don't know how we didn't score there. Look at this. Exactly what we need, and Ronix off the ice. He could have won this to Keith. Merkley clapped in the back. Oh. We still have it. Little little one T. Oh, Mackenzie. Here we go. To Leo, right by Ghost. Pronger's coming for him. Get the angle. Find the pass. Are you kidding me? Let's go, Mackenzie. I think he's a bronze guard from the Leo. That is awesome. Got the cross crease to go. The guy's taking the time out. The Leo's got more time on ice than Jeremy Ronick. What's the coach doing here? So I'm really hoping too, since he just took a time out, they'll throw our first line out there. Oh, looking at that goal again. Or never mind. He's gonna cancel it. We got a minute of hockey left. I think this, is this our top line? Uh, I'm not even sure. But uh, no, it's not. So we got a minute of hockey left. We just have to kill it off. Play smart defensively. Come on. I really don't want to quick sell that pack. Cause like, even if it ends up just being, you know, crappy gold cards, we can use those for icon sets or whatever. And if it's something amazing, I'm gonna cry. So, oh no. Get on D, get on D. Get on D, get on D. Nice save from Crawford. He's been unreal. Still got the third or fourth line out there. 30 seconds left. This coach, I don't know who the Blackhawks coach was back in 94, but he is annoying me. Oh, I was close. Just literally, oh my god, just send it out of the... Yeah, there we go. Just put it up ice. Make him waste time. Gretzky there. Merkley. Off the post. Oh no, I just gave right to him. Crawford, just hold on to it. Five seconds. Please send JR out there. Let's win the face off. Hold it behind the net. We'll somehow survive this. The initial 94. There we go. Finally. All right. We just got to win this face off. If we win this face off. I think we're okay. We want it. We want it. Dump this. Oh my God. Oh my God. 0.5. Let's go. Pulled it off. NHL 94. J Ronick challenge. That was a tough one. I feel like we got pretty lucky there. The guy we matched with was not amazing or anything, but still like... That was tough. And Peyton McKenzie there with the game-winning goal gets play of the game. Love to see it. Through two defenders, the pass, and then he's just going to one knee snipe that one. Love it. Peyton McKenzie there scored the game winner, of course. Gets the first star. Corey Crawford, a.k.a. Ed Belfort with the second star. 19 saves, 0.95 save percentage, and then Jamie Ronick there with the third stars. Honestly, couldn't have wrote it up much better than that. So next you guys, we get to open up this Jumbo Premium Players Pack, which I actually got from playing the last competitive seasons. Honestly, I thought for sure we'd have to be quick selling this. I can't believe we pulled that game out. So hopefully we get something awesome here, sort of like as a reward. I know we get 580 pluses. There's one in for a leak. Hopefully at least like an 83, I think. Okay, as I say it, Kevin Poulin. A3 overall, he's the uh, international series. Probably doesn't sell for too much, but still a cool card. We get Yerry Yager, probably one of the only players in this game that's not an alumni that would have actually been in NHL 94. So that's kind of cool, I think. Justin Schultz there. Justin Falk, who just got traded. That's kind of fitting. I actually made a trade some video a few days ago. Check it out. Hein in there. Blend DC. Come on, let's get somebody sick though. Eberly, Niku. I, forgot, I just realized it's all players, which is actually sick because. This will actually really help a lot with the icon set, so I'm so glad I didn't have to quick sell it. Last last card, come on. David Pasternak, 83. That's not bad at all. I didn't realize at first because it was gold, but he's actually really sick. So they saved the best player for last there. Also, I just realized I'm pretty sure he was the guy that scored on us in that game. So this pack definitely kind of just fit the challenge we did. But that's going to be it, guys, for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.